Ayub Khan 1958 to 1969 If you want written notes of this topic you can find the link in the description below Background In 1958 with the support of Iskandar Mirza Ayub Khan demonstrated the first martial law and became the martial law administrator In the same year he exiled and forced Iskandar Mirza to leave the post of president The dictatorship of Ayub Khan was the first period of direct rule in the country role of ayub khan under the martial law regulation of 1958 ayub khan banned all political parties as the leaders were creating instability in the country in 1959 ayub khan introduced the first constitutional reform the reform of the basic democracy's order was introduced which was a four tier system This system allowed the common people to elect union council members. These elected members can then select the district and divisional members through voting. The basic democracy system stole the right of common people to vote for the president. In 1959, the basic democrats were asked to vote for confidence to make a Ayub Khan the president for the next 5 years. Almost 95% of the democrats voted in favor of Ayub Khan and he became the president. In 1960, he formed a constitution commission to make recommendations for the new constitution of Pakistan. In 1962, a new constitution was introduced by Ayub Khan. In the constitution of 1962, it was stated that these 80,000 elected democrats will form a college for the election of the president. as well as provisional and central legislatures economic reforms in 1959 ayub khan introduced the land reforms and the green revolution the land reforms turned bigger inefficient farms into small efficient farms under the green revolution farmers were encouraged to use modern techniques to boost production and increase the income that also helped in the country's economy These land reforms and the green revolution were proved to be good for the country but it made many tenants jobless. Oil refinery was established in Karachi that allowed Pakistan to import crude oil instead of refined oil that result in a 7% economic growth rate. Social reforms Ayub Khan introduced the family planning concept in Pakistan with American aid. The family planning initiative was immensely opposed by ulamas as they considered it against Islam. In 1961 all marriages and divorces needed to be registered. Men were required to take their first wife's consent before marrying another woman. During Ayub Khan's rule the rehabilitation ministry worked rigorously to solve the refugee problem. They set up many housing societies to shelter the refugees. Many schools and colleges were established and the curriculum was reorganized. Foreign policy under the United Nations, Pakistan signed the Indus Water Treaty. A highway was constructed between Turkey, Iran and Pakistan that improved the relations between these countries. In 1965 Tashkent Accord was signed that resolved the Indo-Pak War of 1965. If you like this video don't forget to like us on Facebook follow us on Instagram and LinkedIn and subscribe to our YouTube channel.